Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. For the second year in a row, Catholics gathered in Kern County for a prayer breakfast earlier today. The Kern County Catholic Prayer Breakfast was held at the St. Francis Church and Youth Center on H Street. Hundreds were in attendance along with two bishops from Fresno and San Francisco. Organizers say everyone in attendance prayed the rosary, took part in mass, and then enjoyed a delicious breakfast together. It's very, very exciting. It's very emotional for us. As Catholics, often we're in our own parishes on Sundays and we don't get together as a big group. And to get together and to celebrate something positive and something that is beautiful in our community and to be strong and to be strong leaders using our faith, but here in the community of Kern to be able to be out there and be support for each other and pray together. Organizers also add they have already set five future dates for the next five years. In response to high tree mortality rates, Kern County is receiving millions of dollars in funding to take down hazardous trees along county maintained roads within the Sequoia National Forest. Roads targeted for maintenance in 2019 in the Greenhorn Mountains include portions of Rancheria Road, Sawmill Ice House, and Old State Roads. Officials say drivers should be aware that there may be brief closures in those areas while tree falling occurs. And we continue to track lingering showers before from our recent storm that just made its way out of the county. But you can expect clearing and warming conditions as we head into your Friday. Bakersfield will have a high of 68 degrees, so just one degree below the seasonal norm. Then we are tracking our next storm moving into the county. This is going to be a quick moving one, so you can expect some scattered showers by mid morning on Saturday, continuing until the early afternoon hours. And then we are going to be clearing and warming right back up to the 70s to begin next week before another storm moves into the county. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23com